United Nations World Food Program, or WFP, distributes take-home rations for school children in Venezuela. Every month, students under six years of age and the staff of 277 pre-primary schools in the Falcon State receive 6 kilograms of rice, 4 kilograms of lentils, 450 grams of iodized salt and 1 liter of vegetable oil. This WFP humanitarian initiative for young children in food insecure areas is being carried out in collaboration with local non-governmental groups and has 30 million US dollars in funding from international donors. The program aims to extend to other Venezuelan states and reach 1.5 million people by the end of the 2022-2023 school year. Furthermore, WFP will repair canteens and provide food safety training to staff to serve hot meals once pre-primary schools reopen. Our heartfelt gratitude, World Food Program and partners for your caring initiative benefiting Venezuelan children most in need. May all precious youngsters enjoy a healthy start in life in the loving gaze of the Providence. Wildfires scorch Siberian region after hottest and driest month in 133 years. In July 2021, over 250 fires were blazing across at least 5,700 square kilometers of one of the world's coldest regions in the Republic of Sakha in northeastern Russia. June 2021 was the hottest and driest month in this area since 1888. Russia's presidential press secretary, Dmitry Peskov, said the impacts of climate change are unfortunately so strong that the region is experiencing burning that did not previously take place. To contain the inferno, more than 2,000 firefighters were deployed and military planes were dispatched to seed clouds to induce rainfall. Meanwhile, Approximately 320,000 residents were alerted to stay indoors and keep windows closed to avoid breathing in extremely high levels of toxic fire fumes and smoke. Our prayers are with all those affected by the wildfires. May humanity urgently embrace the climate-stabilizing vegan lifestyle to save our planet in heaven's awakening. Computer interprets paralyzed man's brainwaves to enable communication. For the first time ever, researchers from the United States, led by Dr. Edward Chang, a neurosurgeon at the University of California, San Francisco, have decoded the brainwaves of a paralyzed man who cannot speak into words and sentences through a computer. To achieve this feat, they surgically inserted a high-density electrode over the speech motor cortex in his brain. They then trained an artificial intelligence algorithm to distinguish between 50 words that are important to his daily life. Now he can express sentences with the algorithm, achieving an average accuracy of 75%. Each year, thousands of people lose the ability to speak due to strokes, accidents and disease, and this technology could therefore offer hope to many. Exceptional news, Dr. Edward Chang and team on decoding brainwaves into speech. In the divine's blessings, may your research lead to voiceless people freely expressing themselves in a comfortable manner. Three endemic species of Malawi to be protected. The Malawi-based Mulanji Mountain Conservation Trust has announced the launching of its plan to cultivate 50,000 endangered Mulanji cycad seedlings in Mount Mulanji's vicinity. It is thought that this living fossil has been around since before the time of the dinosaurs. The dropping number of cycads is mainly due to trafficking of the plant, human population expansion and habitat destruction. According to the International Union for Conservation of Nature, only about 20,000 mature Mulanji cycads are growing wild in Malawi. The Trust's initiative also seeks to ensure the survival of the plant's pollinator, the weevil beetle, and the critically endangered orange and black striped tiger moth with an estimated population of less than 2,000. The moth's caterpillars eat cycad leaves. The conservation project is supported by the Mohammed bin Zayed Species Conservation Fund. Good work, Mulanji Mountain Conservation Trust and Mohammed bin Zayed Species Conservation Fund as responsible stewards of this planet. Let us all concertedly protect Mother Earth's fascinating biodiversity in celestial grace. 
Young Alexis, or Vietnamese artist, sells paintings to raise money to support healthcare workers. A six-day exhibition, Pandemic Painting, was held virtually in 3D to auction 20 paintings created by 13-year-old art prodigy Siu Chu, whose birth name is Pho Van An. Through his works of art, Chu wants to share his love for nature, guiding people to find inner peace and joy in life's simple things. The two auction sessions raised over 125,000 US dollars for doctors and nurses in the country that is currently experiencing its fourth coronavirus outbreak. The internationally acclaimed artist started painting at the age of four, and his art has often been compared to that of legendary American painter Jackson Pollock. One of Seo Chu's earlier paintings depicting nature was sold for 150,000 US dollars in New York, USA. The kind-hearted prodigy has donated his earnings to different charities to support disadvantaged children and vulnerable people. Bravo, Seo Chu, for your brilliant masterpieces and giving spirit. May you continue to pursue your love of painting and inspire many in the guidance of the Buddha. Vegan fish burger receives interest from seafood industry. Schouten Europe, a Dutch company that specializes in making meat alternatives in collaboration with major retailers, recently released a fishless burger to its line of vegan seafood. The product, made from wheat and rice, mimics the flavor and texture of actual fish. Following the rollout of the new item, Schouten received significant interest from companies within the seafood industry who are looking to offer vegan alternatives to their customers amid a large rise in demand for planet and animal-friendly foods. Schouten Europe also sells plant-based tuna, as well as 57 other vegan and vegetarian items to private labels. Congratulations, Schouten Europe, on your new vegan fish burger product. And the blessings of the divine, may fishing soon be banned across the world, as we prioritize the health of the planet and all beings above all else. Goose stands by partner undergoing surgery at Animal Hospital. Arnold, an injured Canada goose, was brought to Birdsey Cape Wildlife Center in Massachusetts, United States, for veterinary care by the center staff. With two open fractures on his foot, he required surgery. Just before the operation, staff members heard a light tapping on the clinic's glass door and discovered that Arnold's girlfriend, who they later named Amelia, had located their facility and was attempting to break in to be with her mate. Touched by her devotion, the center posted on Facebook. She remained there throughout the entire procedure, watching us work, never moving from the doorway. Amelia continued to visit Arnold throughout his recovery at the clinic. She preened him and they shared meals together. What an endearing story. Our many thanks, Birds at Cape Wildlife Center, for caring for Arnold and countless other wildlife friends. May the feathered couple spend many more healthy and joyous years together in God's serenity. <laughs> <laughs> 